Dubai International Airport and dramatic images of an Emirates Airbus A380 at the world's first purpose-built passenger terminal for that aircraft, which, following a phased launch, is now open. So join us for a tour of the home of the A380. Aviation Special on Amy Info, we're at the brand new facility at Dubai Airport. We're going to be checking out Concourse A, which is the world's first dedicated terminal for the massive A380 Airbus aircraft. And to get there, we have to get on the train. The train, or to use its correct name, Automated People Mover, transfers passengers between Terminal 3 and Concourse A in a journey of just over two minutes, with separate lines and platforms for those passengers in transit. So on disembarking from the people carrier, the train which connects the concourse with the terminal, this is the first impression one gets of the brand new Concourse A. The appearance of Concourse A is similar to that of Concourse B, especially in the arrival and departure levels, and is designed to handle 19 million passengers per year, many of whom will be attracted by an enhanced Dubai Duty Free. And to go with the shopping, a wide variety of food and beverage outlets. Well, a delicious array there of pastries and cakes, and looking at those breads up there, it's hard to believe we're in an airport concourse, and this is one of many, many outlets here at Concourse A. The outlets range from French-style cafes to those offering a more local flavour. 14 in total, mostly well-known brands, and many of which you'll find elsewhere at Dubai Airport. The key differences at Concourse A are no doubt the lounges for premium class passengers. Concourse A is all about size, and this is just one small part of the business class lounge, a lounge which is probably the size of some airports in some countries around the world. And this is all about the A380 double-decker. We're quite high up. This is the fifth floor, but very, very high. And I'm just looking down now on the A380 aircraft itself. And from here, looking down, it looks like a small toy. And for the mighty double-decker, there are 20 contact gates, each with three boarding tunnels with direct access from both the business and first-class lounges. And for those who can afford the ticket at the front end of the A380, take a look now at their dedicated lounge. Running the entire length of Concourse A is the largest in the world, with lounges for relaxing or catching up with the latest news. There's even shopping in the duty-free boutique, the only one in the world to be found inside a lounge and after that, the chance to relax in five-star comfort. And then it's on to enjoy cuisine of an equal star rating. And after relaxing in the first-class lounge, time now to board the aircraft. And here at Concourse A, this is another unique facility. It's the ability to access the aircraft direct from the lounge, be it first-class or business-class. All I have to do now is check in using my digital check-in card here, go through there into the elevator, with an elevator dedicated to first and business class, which will take passengers to the upper section of the A380. So I'm off to check out my first class suite.